what happens if two spouses purchased a home together before they were married? You see this scenario occurring more and more. Either parties decide to live together for a long period of time and then they've saved and they're buying a condo or they actually purchase a home prior to the marriage. People that are really planning their lives will have some sort of prenuptial agreement and they will in that agreement incorporate the uh, factual scenario that surrounded the purchase of this premarital property. So for instance, they might say, you know, um, wife contributed $50,000 towards the down payment and husband contributed $50,000 towards the down payment. So that tells me that both parties came into this equally and even though they weren't married, they're now married and they're divorcing and so it's likely that we're going to split the proceeds from the sale of that property equally. Uh, where we run into difficulties is when there's a disparity in how the parties funded the down payment for this premarital asset. Or uh, one spouse funded the premarital asset completely, maybe dissipating a retirement account and using all of those funds for the down payment for the home, and now they're getting divorced and they want to recoup that money and the spouse is saying no, no, no. It is a fact-sensitive question. The amount of time that the parties lived as man and wife in that house are go is going to matter tremendously. So if it was just two years since I liquidated my marital asset and it all went into this home, that's a much different scenario than we've been married 22 years and I've lived in this home. So all fact-sensitive questions that you really want to discuss with your attorney to figure out how this premarital asset will be treated in the event of a divorce.